about one word that I would choose to describe Father Jonathan. The word that keeps coming back to me is heart. I would say that it's that sense of heart, this capacity to laugh and to cry, um, to give from the heart, to lead with the heart. He's there for people, always. One of the things that is really terrific about Father Jonathan is how well matched he is to being in a college environment. What's so impressive is his involvement here on campus um, with the students. I know my friends who go to other colleges and they say they don't even know who their president is and Father Jonathan goes to almost every event that I plan. Uh, he's very caring. Uh, he's got the biggest heart I've ever seen. He's honest sincere and loyal and really a devoted friend as well as just a really good person. He is one of the most polished and articulate people I've ever met. A fantastic uh, person to represent a college. When you're the president of the college, you're the president of an academic institution, you are the CEO of a hotel, you're the CEO of a restaurant chain, and you are the CEO of a healthcare organization. That's what a college campus is. You're taking care of students and faculty like almost all their needs, but he made it look effortless. Personally speaking, I went through some really difficult personal challenges in my life, and for the first time I had a chance to, to meet Father Jonathan as a friend and as a priest. And uh, I, I can tell you that uh, as good as he is as a president, he's even better as a friend and a priest. You know, he has to stop being the president to become a priest. And so that could happen at any time in, during the day. So my call could come in at 10 o'clock in the morning and he's being a president over here and I'm asking him to be a priest and he's always been there. So you can't take that for granted. That makes him special and that makes the college super special. I think that Father Jonathan's greatest accomplishment was uh, staying in the position of president for as long as he did. I think Father Jonathan stayed for such a long time because he had several things that he wanted to see through to fruition. The idea that um, he has had a, a, a hand in so many of the buildings. When I think about residence halls, um, every step of the way, Father Jonathan has been involved. He's left his mark in every aspect of St. Anselm College, from growing the quality of the faculty and the academic program to bringing a focus on inclusiveness. The college now has women in key leadership roles throughout the administration and the faculty. I think his legacy at um, St. Anselm will be one of transformation and his willingness to act and execute on that vision uh, has, a, has a, an amount of courage that maybe others might not have. The school has been dramatically transformed in 24 years. Um, the campus, the physical plant. Jonathan has never been known as a guy who was particularly interested in athletics, but at some level the joke is he's become the sports president because during his tenure, uh, football was added back. We just built a new hockey arena that's one of the nicest in the Northeast. So, uh, ironically, he's overseen the expansion of some of the athletic programs as well. I think uh, Father Jonathan's uh, legacy is a, is a community at St. Anselm. I have a lot of friends who come and will say, and I'm not sure what it is that, that's going on here, but I can feel it when I walk on the campus. I can feel it when I meet and greet your students. There's something uh, very special here. When Father Jonathan first came into office, he gave a homily. One of the things that struck me was he said, we stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. And I think of those who are to come who will benefit from his stewardship of an institution that has developed its endowment, that has developed its academic reputation. Many, many years ago, he said, I want the Institute of Politics in St. Anselm's to be the center for civic discussion, civic dialogue, and have the opportunity to invite journalists and political leaders, whether they're running for president or running for the United States Senate in New Hampshire, to be there and to have an opportunity for students to listen. That was his idea, that was his vision, and he pulled it off. 
First off, it gives St. Anselm a unique resource, especially the students, to have the capacity every four years, especially, to meet so many people who are going to have an impact on their lives. But more importantly, it gives the state a place where we can say, listen, we have the capacity as a state to give candidates forums that they would not get in other states, to come to a place, the Institute, uh, where they can make presentations, where they can have the capacity to communicate with a cross-section of New Hampshire citizens uh, and have a center around which the primary process can function. And he saw that. He, saw, he had that vision. And really, it was his vision, and uh, he deserves all the credit for it. He's getting a very well-deserved uh, year of sabbatical. Uh, and we know he loves to travel and we hope that he'll enjoy some time away from the pressures of his job and then return to the campus. When he's ready to come back, we could set up the uh, De Felice Culinary Arts Summer Institute <laughs> for Father Jonathan to run. I think he would love that. Would I love to see him continue his involvement with the college? Absolutely. I think he would be a great ambassador as we bring in other cultures into our community. I think he has a, a lot to offer um, as a consultant for Catholic colleges, specifically small liberal arts Catholic colleges. He's had a huge impact on the state. St. A's has had a huge impact on the state. Uh, the value system which is taught here at St. A's is so critical, not only to the educational structure of the school, but to setting an example for New Hampshire and the country. I think the St. A's curriculum approach is just unique and special, uh, and he's the best spokesman there is for it. And I just hope he stays engaged in sort of proselytizing across the country about the importance of this type of liberal arts education.